Rightio, today we're going to be experimenting with something. We're going to be experimenting with making a light bulb. Quite a difficult thing to do. Now, if you are interested in experimenting in this sort of thing, make sure you do it in front of one of your parents. You need to be around an adult because I don't really want to be the one that gets blamed for burning your house down. Right, well, the first couple of things we'll need for this build are a table and a chair. We also need a suitable base for our light bulb. We also need some side cutters some rigid wire. We need four aerosol lids. We also need two alligator clips. We need a small two and a half mil drill bit. We need a mechanics magnet. We need some wire. We need some resistance wire and we need some pliers. And we also need a bowl and a spoon and a jar of jam and we need some electrical tape. We also need some very fine copper wire, some pencil leads, some graphite leads, and we also need a power supply. And I don't know if we'll need this, but we could also need a car battery. We also need a newspaper. We need a cup of tea with a dog on it, that's a dachshund. And a fork. And last but not least, we need some scallops. They're frozen. I've got to cook them. Oh, and a drill. Cool. I think that's all we need. Now we don't really need a full jar of jam. We actually just want the empty jar, so we have to empty this. And perhaps the best way to do it is to eat the jam. Oh. That's disgusting. Right, well the first thing we're gonna to need to do is drill two, two and a half millimeter holes in our base. I'm just going to use some of this rigid wire, I'll cut a couple of bits off and just poke it through. We'll just bend these up a bit, just from the bottom, just so they're like that a bit more. And we'll set our caps out and just put that there. And by turning those in, now the top can fit on, so that's pretty cool. And that'll stop any oxygen, or too much oxygen, um, destroying the filament, because we do want it to last a little length of time. Got these little alligator clips, so I'm just going to throw those down and squeeze them. No, it didn't really work too well, did it? Oh, that might work. Right, so here we have some copper wire, and it's really, if you look at it closely, it's really, really thin. It's like hair, so I'm just going to take two pieces out somehow without tangling it up, it's very hard to get off and it's also very easily broken so I'm just going to fiddle with this and try and get it out but I've got a couple of bits of copper wire here, the really fine stuff so I'm just going to tape it onto the end of this drill just to hold it temporarily and I'll grab the other ends which are there somewhere and I'll just arc the drill up okay, just roll it all. so here's a modern light bulb well they're not that modern now but what we're trying to do is replicate what's inside here. So we've got these two lead wires coming up the side there and there, which are these two guys here. And that filament in the middle is what we're trying to replicate here. Now that's tungsten. And we know that works because, well, if you plug this in, it'll go. But that little spirally wound bit of tungsten, whoops, stay there. That spirally wound bit of tungsten is actually about two feet long. It's just coiled up. So let's try it. Here's my mechanics magnet, which is... Well, it, no, it's not magnetic. <laughs> it's my mechanics magnet, there you go. And I've had it for 25 years or so, and it is absolutely naked, but it doesn't matter because I'm using it for something different. So I'm just going to wind that up there, and as I go, I'm going to squeeze it up, and I'm going to wind it a bit more, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to take it off. Oh, and there we go. So, let's put this little guy in here. And stay there, good boy. And there's our little globe. So you can see what we're trying to achieve. There's the globe, and there's our little mock globe. Right, well, obviously, we can't play with mains voltage, it's too dangerous. So we want to keep to some lower power levels. Uh, so we're going to use my little power supply I made when I was an electronics student many years ago. And basically, we'll turn it on, and we've got light. And we can vary the voltage to get light in different intensities. Okay, so let's see how we go with this thing now. Okay, so here we go. We'll turn the supply on and straight out, we're hitting the limit. 
We can't dial up the voltage any higher than what it is because the power supply is dropping out. And the reason for that is because there's too much resistance there. It needs too much power to be able to light up. So we need some more power than that can give us. There should be a battery in this car. Uh, no, I need a bigger one. No, not enough light. And it blew out. Oh, we'll try again. Now, Mr. Edison tried a lot of things. Remember, he said, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I found 10,000 ways the thing wouldn't work. And he found his answer with carbon. Let's see what this stuff does. I should get one of my kids to come out here and do this with me. Oh, gosh. Actually, it's there. Let's try that. Oh, here we go. Ignition. Ready, set, go. Well, we haven't quite got enough voltage, but we are getting some light. Now for that experiment I used this stuff. This is resistance wire of a car. So what that basically means, instead of 12 volts getting to here, only about 8 volts got there. So let's try some other wire, some normal stuff, and see how that goes. Right, time to go again. Let's see how this works. Whoa! Woohoo! That is bright. Let's try the lights off. From oh, look at that. That is mad. And I made it myself. Got to be happy with that.